Welcome Ocean Siders to Ormond Beach, Florida. It's cloudy today and high waves, but today we're talking about the Sun Tan King, Mr. Ron Rice. Stay tuned. Now maybe if you don't remember Ron Rice, the the suntan king maybe this will ring a bell for you maybe you remember his brand hawaiian tropic bikini suntan lotion so you know the stuff that smells like coconuts rub on your body keep you nice and tan he invented that so basically he got the idea from going back to hawaii and his visit to hawaii he noticed some people were coming out of the bushes and breaking open coconuts and rubbing lotion you know the oil on their body from the coconuts so he thought of a great idea, came back, got a big trash can at his home, broken broom handle stick, and utilized a bunch of coconuts and made his own formula and stirred that all together. Now in making this, he bottled this up and ended up bottling this up and then he had a great marketing strategy. Now he was a teacher and a lifeguard at this time. So he knew he could go to the beach and try to sell this. Why not? Perfect marketing plan right there. Another thing he did is he utilized girls in bikinis. So he would bribe them or <laughs> tell them, hey, I can give you as much suntan lotion as you want for the whole summer. I just want you to take these bottles and go over here and market it up and down the beach and we'll see if he can get some sales for me on this. So from there, he ended up becoming the second largest seller of uh, suntan lotion. So really crazy how you could go all the way up, just from a simple idea, stirring this batch of his own, you know, coconut brand lotion or oil in his own, uh, at his own home. Now, he did end up selling this back in 2007, right before the market was started, getting a little sketchy and was crashing. Um, now, depending on what source that you look at, it sold it for $1.6 billion, or there's another article I saw that was for $83 million. So, take that for what you will. The guy was set for life when he was alive. Um, he has since passed this last year, in 2022, at age 81. So, he lived a long, long life. Long, uh, actually a pretty nice, extravagant life. But I'm also going to show you where he lived in his home. And it's very interesting, and I'm going to show some pictures of it as well, of the architecture and his taste of artwork and stuff was interesting. Very interesting. So, all right, join me. I'll show you the home. So, welcome to the home of Mr. Ron Rice himself, the Suntan King. Mr. Hawaiian Tropic himself. Now, if you notice on the left-hand side, this is this home is for sale, but it is now at the moment in contingency. But this place boasts four bedrooms, five baths, 12,414 square feet. Um, it was also built back in 1987. Now, you see the rock that's all around the outside of this home. Um, in an interview, Ron Rice said that he brought all of this rocks all the way from North Carolina to build this massive structure. So that's a lot of rock that you can see all around the outside of the home and also around the pool area and the bottom lying layers. Now also right over here, I'm not going to get too close, uh, there's people that uh, don't want to get trespassed, there's a trespassing sign, but right there is where one of the pools are. So here's a shot of one of the pools right here, and a pelican. And then if you look way over there, there's another pool, and then there's also a little door right there. I'll show you some pictures of that as well. That goes into a uh, swimming area that's inside the home. It's another little pool area with a bar, and then it also has some interesting statues and pictures inside. Um, and then you can, it has an extra indoor pool, 
actually is, and it's uh, another, and then a hot tub right off of the side of that pool. So it's pretty interesting. Um, in the center of this, as you can see right here, this area right here, right up here, this is where um, there on the second floor, both a little catwalk that goes around the whole sunken living room area. And then there's like a fireplace that goes through the center of the home, of that living room area, going all the way up to the uh, second floor ceiling and then vented out at the top of the roof. So, um, also, showed some pictures of the interesting items that he had in his home. He was a very interesting man as far as it came to decorating, as I said before. Um, but yeah, this is the home. Uh, it was listed for 5.9 and now 4.7. And a tendency, as I was saying before. Pretty crazy. That is a massive, massive home. Now there is one that it has sold down the beach area. Um, it's a little bit more updated than this. One I would really love to have, <laughs> but it sold for I think around I think it was around 3.9, 4.7, somewhere around there. So it's kind of listed to where it should be. Anyways, we're going to go take a look at the front of the building. Stay tuned. So here's the front of Ron Rice's house. I'm actually parked right across the street here in my car. I uh, did want to get out. Um, there's people that are actually at the other house next door. So, but there is one gate, as you can see right there, leading up into the doorway area. Um, that is where, right through that door, as coming in, uh, he called it his Bennigan's ben ben uh, bar that he built there, and then he ended up turning it into a, a wraparound kitchen area. But, yeah, but there's the front of the home. And so here we are in Ormond Beach, Florida, right off the side of the road here is the Playtex Incorporated plant right here. Um, so they sell like Edge Gel, Hawaiian Tropic, of course, and there's a banana boat sign way off in the distance. And then Skintiment, I guess it is. That's for the like shaving cream for ladies shaving their legs or whatever. <laughs> But it's a little noisy. I'm here by the road. Um, but yeah, that's now where Hawaiian Tropic is made. Right in that very building right there. So since they sold it, since he sold it back in 2007. And then off in the distance, way off over here, is the major plant area for Playtex Incorporated. So yeah, forgot to mention though, Playtex ended up buying uh, Hawaiian Tropic from. Mr. Ron Rice. Pretty interesting. Back in 2007. All right. Off to the next location. And here we are at Daytona Beach, right here at the Van Shell. Back in 1987, this is where they hosted the uh, Hawaiian Tropic Bikini Pageant. Back in 1987. I had it set up right here on this very stage. Pretty interesting. Um, he used to hold a lot of these pageants in Hawaii for the finals, but it ended up being a lot of money. He said it cost around three, four million to keep those running. So he ended up, I don't know if he did the finals here on this very stage, but they did have pageants here. Uh, but he moved it since to Daytona Beach. Um, yeah, pretty cool. And here's a little bit of footage of that back in 1987. Daytona Beach, Florida. It's Beauty at the Beach. With Scott Valentine.
Spring Break 1987. And 20 international beauties competing for the title of Miss Hawaiian Tropic International. All right, so ending this at the band shell here in Daytona Beach. Thank you for going with me to honor and go over the history of Hawaiian Tropic and Mr. Ron Rice. Rest in peace, Mr. Ron Rice. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a few comments down below. Anyways, guys, it's raining. Love you. Thanks for watching.